As we are getting closer to the launch of Galaxy S23 Ultra, we are starting getting more information regarding the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and Galaxy Z Fold 5 will fix all the shortcomings of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Although Samsung has started working with other companies to improve the cameras on the Z Fold 5, as per reports from South Korea, Samsung will not supply camera parts from Partron for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5, although Partron was the second largest supplier for the Samsung, but it seems like Samsung have other plans, which we all know a new updated cameras on the Z Fold 5, and one one big update in the cameras or the new selfie shooter is getting an update from 12 megapixel instead of 10 megapixel on the Z Fold 4 and we might see an update in the UDC under display camera. Although the rear camera sensor will be confirmed where we are going to see Samsung's iOS SL GN3 50 megapixel shooter, 12 megapixel ultra wide and 10 megapixel telephoto shooter. Now some of you guys might thought about a 108 megapixel camera but for now there are no chances just because of space limitation Samsung will go with the same 50 megapixel shooter. Let me know in the comments which feature do you want the most in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and don't forget to like this video. Finally, what we've all been waiting for is Samsung finally responded, the built-in S Pen. So some of you guys might be happy, but some of you guys don't, let me explain. Because the built-in S Pen will be smaller than what you get on the Z Fold 4 and this will be a really big challenge for Samsung to put the built-in S Pen in the Z Fold 5. As they tried with the Z Fold 4 but due to space limitations, Samsung dropped the idea of putting S Pen in the Z Fold 4. Now while putting the S Pen, Samsung also going to drop the weight on the Z Fold 5. Z Fold 4 is already one of the lightest foldable phone in the market but making it even lighter would be a great thing and Samsung do have plan how they will achieve this by putting a new lightweight vibration motors but the quality will remain the same. Some of you guys don't like the crease on the Z Fold 4 and Samsung also working on this and it seems like we might see a better crease on the Z Fold 5. Although Samsung will use a single hinge design which will help Z Fold 5 to become a waterproof foldable phone. As no other foldable phones in the market provides waterproofing only Samsung do with their phones. With the single hinge design we are going to get a 7.6 inches 120Hz refresh rate in a display and 6.2 inches cover display. The battery is debatable because if Samsung put the S Pen in the Z Fold 5 then we are going to see the same 4400 mAh battery, although with the new Snapdragon Engine 2, 40% CPU power efficiency and 45% GPU power efficiency, chances are their Z Fold 5 will last much longer than the Z Fold 4. As per reports in Samsung's history, Galaxy Z Fold 5 will be out in the August next year along with the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Pro. If you guys want to see the first real 200 megapixel camera sample of Galaxy S23 Ultra, then make sure to watch this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time, till then, peace out.